If you've only ever seen the North American version of Rumble in the Bronx, then here are 23 moves you've never seen in this fight. The parts they took out are usually anything that makes Jackie seem hesitant or vulnerable, or like he's made some sort of mistake and isn't moving forward. But here they actually took out a couple of swings when the shopping cart hits Jackie. He leans back and we can see the baseball bat in the background that he's going to end up using. However, that doesn't matter in the North American version because they cut this entire little spot out. I like it. I think that's a cool kick. Here, we're gonna see something kind of weird. The North American version is wider and the Hong Kong version is taller. It's weird that these are cut so differently. You would think they want to keep as much of the footage in as possible. Notice how they cut out Jackie stopping and backing up. I understand cutting out throwing the bottles at Jackie when he's at the pinball machines because we did have an entire scene of that already, so it does feel repetitive. But as a result, in the North American version, it does feel like these bottles just magically appear on the pool table. The bottles are an obstacle that defeated Jackie earlier in the movie, so while it does feel repetitive, it is good writing that we see Jackie overcome this obstacle. And of course, in the North American version, they cut out a whole bunch of the pinball machine stuff where Jackie is sort of not moving forward and progressing. He's kind of getting stuck and overwhelmed. The North American editing really shows how little they understood Jackie Chan's style. He rolls the wrong way, makes a mistake, so they cut it out. They also cut out this chunk of the cross-country ski choreography, even though Jackie isn't backing up or looking vulnerable. Do you think making him seem more invincible like a 90s North American action star helped make him more palatable for the North American fans and that it was an intelligent sacrifice to make in order to break into the Western market. Last and probably least, they even cut out part of this final flourish he does with the cross-country ski. Cutting it does make the ending feel a little more serious, I suppose, but what do you think? Should they have kept these 23 moves in?